Right folks, did a quick video yesterday regarding the riots, the looting, the cowardice that surrounds it all. And I'm going to start today's video off totally differently than I have planned. I've got no scripts, I've got nothing wrote down. I, I don't do that as you know if you watch the channel. But just as I'm sitting back in my chair now, I've just thought I know what I'm going to say to start this off and this is it. At last, we've got somebody in power, we've got a government that has said they're going to do something and actually followed it through and followed it through quickly. Before people start getting on the keyboards, having a pop at me or tuning out, let me just say this, I don't really support any party. I've said time and time and time again, I don't think Starmer is the man to lead the country. I don't know that I trust him or I believe in him enough, but I can't say I like anybody out there. The Conservatives were absolutely crap, they were corrupt, they were really, really bad. I've got no dog in the race at all. Um, yes, change was probably needed, but I'm just worried Stan was not the man. That said, that takes me to my statement a minute ago. He said a few days ago now they're going to get really, really hard with these people that are caught rioting, carrying out criminal damage, doing things to the police, and hopefully those behind it as well. And I've got to say, talk about taking action. It's been done from the riots to the arrest, to the putting in prison, to the in court and to the sentence. And that is what was needed. And I think what's been done extremely quickly has been brilliant. Last night I did a video here saying that I even believe my town, that there Warrington was going to have riots last night. I even heard not so much rumours, people were telling me this stuff on social media saying that they're fighting on place in uh, Warrington called Orford. It's moving into the town centre. People have been told don't go into the town centre, avoid it at all costs. As far as I'm aware, there was no rights at all in the end. I've put on the TV this morning and all the rights that were planned ended up being, well, firstly not taking place and the, some of the places where there were to be riots, there was more people turned up against the riots, protesting against riots and also protesting against those that have got a problem with, uh, with, with foreigners racists and so on and so forth and the protests in the end were a different kind of protest and they went off really peacefully and really really well well done fantastic now i did something about these riots yesterday and a couple of people told me a couple of things that i didn't know now as i've said many times in the past folks i'm not a political animal at all I mean, they talk of far right and far left i don't know one from the other they talk about is it this andrew tate because he's got involved in it in a roundabout way i've just done a a video a moment ago on a woman called let me look because I can't remember her name I don't know who she is don't like her from what I've read Bernadette Spofforth if you don't know who she is look, watch the video uh, anyway she's she's one of the people behind these tweets that started is it tweets I think they called I don't do it myself a week or two ago saying that the young lad that carried out these killings was a boat person who came off a boat a year previous and MI5 and MI6 had been watching just lies 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 she was one of the first to peddle those lies that started the riots or that helped to start the riots and fuel the fires amongst people. Anyway, that's a different story altogether. Yeah, I couldn't think of Andrew Tate's name in that because I wanted to name drop him in there because they mentioned Andrew Tate. Oh, I know who he is, but I don't know him. I don't follow him. I couldn't think of the guy called Tommy Robinson, but then it, it came to me who he is. Don't really know him. Uh, I know that Kate, whatever her name is, he's always championing him. Is it Kate something or other? She's on the YouTube all the time, I can't think of her name. She used to be on this morning and now she doesn't like anybody. She only likes those that nobody else likes. Um, I know she champions him and others do as well. Uh, but I know these rights, there's been people behind them, the keyboard warriors, making things happen, but not turning up to the rights themselves. They don't want to get themselves in trouble. They want to get us bit doing their bidding, doing their work for them. And if we get any trouble, they're not bothered. No skin off their nose at all, because I say they're not there. I think I've read, is it Tommy Robinson? Is he on a beach with his family somewhere in Cyprus? And many of his crew, they say, I don't know if it's true, are behind all of this. But anyway, these riots took off. And as I said, they should have happened last night in loads and loads of towns. There was rumours yesterday morning there might be a hundred of them. I think none have happened. I think people have realised, number one, that there's a massive outpouring there of folk, normal folk, like a class myself as, who doesn't want these riots and doesn't believe in them. But also, I think number two, they were seeing how quickly the government had acted and the police and the courts to, to hand out some proper, proper judgments. 
And as I say, yesterday, I think it was, they gave the first three or four sentences in Liverpool, which is only a stone's throw from here. I think one guy got two years, another guy got about 20 months, and another guy got about 12 months. Now, the two-year, does he get out after seven months? Is it a 30 sentence? I think it is. But still, it's going to make people think, do I want to get involved in all of that and spend seven months or more in clink? And the answer to anything like that should be no. You see, what's happened, folks, I believe, one of these, it could be the guy that got two years, I read about him somewhere and, and things go in and out because I'm doing that much and I can't take it all in and whatever. But I think I read one of the people that uh, was locked up that's now serving time. He's been playing bingo. This is the true story, this. Bingo with his wife. He's got kale eyed up. He's had a bit too much of the old pop, you know, the old falling over juice. He's come out drunk. There's a riot going on, as Dr. Feelgood once said many years ago. He's looked at it and thought, oh, this looks good. This looks like a laugh. All of a sudden, he's got roped into it. I think he might have chinned somebody or some of that ilk, or he might have robbed something. He's got arrested, and I think he's doing two years. He was only at the bingo. He's a man of my age. He looks like butter wouldn't melt. But he's also a fool. Because why has he got involved? Why has he gone watching it? These people that go watching it, they go watching it not to get involved. There's all these idiots with the cameras filming it like, right, plebs. And all of a sudden, some of them get involved. They might see somebody hits a policeman, which they shouldn't do, but the policeman hits back and they're thinking, the copper shouldn't hit him. He's already been hit, the copper, don't get me wrong, but the copper shouldn't hit him. And they get involved and they're getting done as well. So yesterday, the first few got sent to jail. And we're seeing pictures today on the TV of where the police are going to various households throughout Britain and arresting folk. And I think it's great. I think it's really great. That's what needs to be done. These police, whether you like them or not, they're still normal human beings. They've got wives, they've got children and whatever else. They've got bricks, bottles, concrete, rain at them from all angles. They've even got police dogs that have had bricks thrown at them. Dogs? What have they got to do with anything? It's just, it's madness. But now I think the tough stance that the government has taken and the swiftness with which they've acted, I think has made people think twice and so it should. Now somebody put in the comment section yesterday in here, ah, well, if there is the double standards. Look at that, was it, was it in London a few days ago where there's a couple of rival gangs on the streets all with machetes and he said the police did nothing. If we did that on the streets with machetes, we'd get locked up. And I agree with him, we would, and rightly so. And he's saying, what about these people in your Rotherhams and your Sheffields and, is it Sheffield, I think, and Rochdale, these foreigners that were raping young children and this, that, the other. I agree with him, it's out of order. Many have been jailed, many of them should have been jailed years and years and years earlier. We've already covered it. They should have got even more years than they've got. And if it was me, I said only the other week, I'd have deported them all. Get the wives and kids as well, deport all of them over there, let all the families suffer for what they've done wrong. And let them go over back to their own country and be shamed in front of their own people. Maybe they won't be shamed because many adults over there, many males in these countries, treat women like they're nothing. And they've been doing it over here. So why women? And it's wrong. They shouldn't be doing it. There's lots that shouldn't happen. But for all these lots that shouldn't happen, for every bad black person or brown person, there's 20, 30 or 40 great people. They're all great people. We're all, we're all great people. We're no better than anybody else. Nobody's better than us. Don't matter what your skin colour is or your religion is. It's how you are in here. And how you are in here. And how you act to your fellow man. Doesn't matter what race they are or what religion. This fellow was right. If the police are sat in vehicles and they're letting people walk around with machetes, it's wrong. I didn't know that was the case. If that is the case. And what it might be, to be honest with you, that might be racism in its worst form. Because the police might be thinking... Well, they're not doing us any harm. Let them beat seven bells out of each other. Let them machete one, one another. They might be thinking along the lines of, and this isn't me saying this, I'm saying it, but I'm not thinking it, there'll be less of them. They might be thinking, if they fight amongst themselves with machetes, there'll be less of them, which is extremely racist. They might be thinking that. It's wrong. If people on our, our streets with machetes or knives or whatever else, they need locking up. And they need locking up for a very, very long time. And if you lock them up for a very long time, it'll stop people doing it. And if you deport them, it'll stop even more. Because this is a gravy train over here. Everybody wants to be here. Make the first thing, if the jails are full and, and, and they're the, the, the collapsing under the weight of people in there, send folk that are doing wrong in this country, that, that haven't come from this country, back to their own country, deport them. That'll stop folk doing it. 
And that's not me being racist, by the way, but what I'm saying is if they come from elsewhere and they're committing crime, send them back. Let them commit crime on their own doorstep. It sounds racist. I know it does, but it's not. I promise you it's not. If we could send white folk over here that are doing stuff to other countries, I'd send them. But we can't, can we? They're born over here. They're from over here. Nobody else will take them. They've not got dual passports. But that's how it needs to be. Now, I don't know if there's a law for them and... That's a Muslim. Somebody was saying that it's all a Muslim nation and they're getting away with blue murder and we're not. I don't believe that. I've not really seen that. But if it's happening, it's wrong. They should be policed the same way we're policed. They should be treated the same way we're treated. But at the end of the day, I think what the government's done for a change is spot on. They've acted decisively, quickly. They've done it really, really well. And I think it's put the wind up some folk. Because as I say... The people that are behind this, the keyboard warriors, they're not getting involved in it. They're whipping up the hatred and everything else. They're doing that. They're not getting arrested. Hopefully, some of them will be in the end, but they're not getting it. They're sending folk out there to ultimately get done, to cause grief, but ultimately get done themselves. Maybe the folk that are going out there, the sheep are now realizing, wait a minute, I've got no real dog in this fight. No one's doing me any harm. What am I going out there fighting with the police? Fight? I'm going to get arrested. As I say, I seen one the other day in the papers, they're all laughing at him. There's a bloke, there's it in Middlesbrough, he's in Middlesbrough, he's got a mask on, don't worry, I want to see him. He's got a short sleeve shirt on, he's got tattoos everywhere, one of them's a big, uh, is it English tattoo, the big red cross, I think with Middlesbrough FC underneath it. And they're laughing, they this, this the most stupid writer in Great Britain. Everybody's going to know who he is, mask on or not. And I agree, but that's some of the people that are out there writing. Thick, as pig you know what, they're thick. And unfortunately, the people that the puppet masters are pulling the strings, they're great because they've got loads of thick people that are doing their bidding. But for all people are thick, when they realise that very, very quickly they're going to get a knock on the door, they're going to spend a night or two in the cells, down to the courthouse and then probably two or three years in jail, they're not going to do it. And that, as much as anything else, I think might be one of the reasons why the rights weren't happening last night. Yeah, we're probably going to see a few more of them, hopefully not so many, but now, if the, if the judicial system carries on acting the way that they have over the last couple of days, it might fizzle out a lot quicker than it was going to. And I think it's all power to the people behind this, the decision makers here. I think for a change, a government's done something quickly, decisively and correctly. Some will disagree with me. Some will be on the side of these rioters, these looters, these cowards. Because they're probably rioters, looters, cowards at hearts themselves. And if people follow me, that's life. People follow me all the time it doesn't really matter to me this channel's about opinions and that's mine and if you agree with me you can tell me and if you disagree you can tell me as i've said in the past folks you won't get wipes off the channel you, your comments won't get wipes off you can put anything you want on the channel it's an open forum that's the way we work here i believe that this is a free country it's definitely a free channel within this free country because the country isn't the free country it probably was i don't suppose but this channel certainly is you can put on what you want but I, for one, am more, more than happy that there was no rights out of the country last night. I, for one, am more than happy that nobody else was hurt, injured, maimed. I, for one, am happy that businesses come go back to work this morning and actually carry out the businesses. I mean, I heard on Easter morning on the TV, there was hundreds of businesses throughout the country telling folk that were black or any shade other than white, don't come in tomorrow or today, don't come in. We believe this rights, please don't come in. What kind of world is that where you've got to tell your employees not to come in because the skin colour isn't white because they don't conform and because of it they might be in serious trouble to their own health. What a shame. Is that what we've come to? Surely not. Let's on that anyway. That's it from me. Off the soapbox and downstairs to watch the TV in about five minutes when I've uploaded this.